Oh, good morning, grown-ups and kitty cats. Now, I had a fucking full-on drug party last night, man. Jesus. I mean, you'll see a couple videos from that in a bit, but, um, yeah. Started the night off with, um, I usually, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do a trip to me, and except for mushrooms now, now I do mushrooms with nothing else except for some pot, like, um, I, uh, I usually will take, like, a benzo beforehand, because it slows down my thoughts, uh, so I took an oxazepam, um, uh, because, you know, tryptamines, they cyclically, like, slow down and speed up your thoughts, and I don't like that jumping very much, um, so I find if my thoughts are slowed down already, boom, helps, um, don't have to do that with, like, acid or 2CB, though, more, more faster-paced drugs, um, <clears throat> but I, I, then I broke up 4-ACO DMT, did a big-ass rail of that, Big ass rail, K. Okay. Went for a walk, smoked a dube, came back, did more K. Okay. Decided to mix in some four Hamid. The two, fucking beautiful, 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 beautiful mixture. Loved it. Um, and uh, then I finished the night off with a big bowl of DMT. Oh god! And I even looked in the mirror and I was like, "Hey, is that enough drugs for you, buddy?" <laughs> Anyways, so I'm I'm making this series here. Now, these are, like, three very, uh, very hard things uh, in my life. Um, you know, I have been legitimately dead three times. Um, and uh, two of them required resuscitation. I don't know what the fuck happened with the first, um, but that first one is what I'll get into. So this one is, um, yeah, uh, it's, you know, essentially death by Sandman. Sleep apnea, baby. So, uh, yeah, what happened um, was I used to have a lot of sleep related. Well, I mean, I still do have a lot of sleep related illnesses. I had, I, you know, I woke up because of sleep paralysis this morning. That shit jars you awake, man. Um, but I used to have sleep apnea and sleep ap uh, sleep paralysis, and I, I think I do have sleep apnea still because when I sleep, I go like. <sighs> And so people tell me, I mean, I don't know, I can't watch myself while I'm sleeping. I don't record myself while I'm sleeping, that'd be weird. So people tell me. Um, so anyways, um, I was uh, at the time uh, doing some work around the neighborhood for neighbors and shit. Like that was, that was my gig back in the day, it was uh, like... You know, that's how I made a splash in my neighborhood. And then eventually that was how I made drug money and <laughs> shit like that. But anyways, I was doing the power washing and it was fucking brutal, man. It was so hot out. Like, um, power washing is one of those jobs where it's like first 30 seconds. It's cool. It's like, oh, I'm using this laser. Oh, well, the dirt's gone. Dirt's gone. Oh, isn't that so cool? Well... Yeah, for 30 minutes until, like, it's just like, oh, fuck, this is a repetitive motion that's killing my forearm. Um, and I had, like, hella bad sunburns and stuff like that, so it was very, very unpleasant. Um, and my sleep was suffering a lot because of the sunburns. Um, and uh, so, yeah, one night I, uh, I was going in and out of sleep paralysis um, after it took me multiple hours to fall asleep. And then... Um, Sure enough, I, like, woke up and I couldn't move again. But this was, like, something different. Like, <clears throat> I felt like, like, uh, like, I really couldn't breathe. Like, you know, when most people get that sort of illusion when they when they have sleep paralysis that they can't breathe. It's like a fight-or-flight response because your body feels utterly defenseless. So it's ha it has this primal response of uh, fight or fight or flight and, um... Uh, and I, so I think that panic causes you to perceive yourself as suffocating. But this was different. This was like, I couldn't get a breath in. I was like, <laughs> like, that's what I was doing. Like, I was gasping like a fish out of water, man. And so this goes on for way longer than sleep paralysis should. I mean, sleep paralysis does suspend your uh, perception of time. Um, like, I found that. 
uh, like uh, I've had instances that have felt like eternities, but sleep paralysis typically never lasts more than 15 seconds to a minute. I mean, I feel like I've counted to 60 seconds sometimes and it still goes on, but uh, this was different. I can't stress this enough because I don't want you to think this was an episode of sleep paralysis. Um, I was literally like, like, like trying so hard to move and I felt the life being sucked out of me. And um, I like, I even, it got to the point where like, I, I didn't, I, I could tell I was no longer taking breaths. And um, like, oh boy, like the, 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 what happened next was one of the scariest things ever I, that I've experienced. And uh, what happened after was even weirder. Um, but uh, I, I felt my heart going, boom, boom. Stop. Grew fainter and fainter and fainter until it just seemed like I flatlined. And then I was just boom, boom out of my body. But I mean, it wasn't like astral projection or anything like that. It was just like I was in this black wind tunnel. And I was going like just floating up and down like that. Like, it was, it was uh, bizarre, the state I was in when this happened, because I was, I, I was like, you know, fighting with every ounce of strength that I could muster to, to, to like, try and survive. Um, but then when I was in this place, man, I'm like, I, uh, I, I had this weird sort of, like, acceptance about everything. Like, I was like... Oh, man, I guess my parents are going to find my body in the morning. But that's just the way she goes. And I kept going through stuff like that in my head. Like, oh, yeah, my family will have to accept I'm dead. I won't be able to say goodbye to my friends. But that's just the way it goes. Um, and then what happened was my cat, my lovely, lovely kitty cat, she... I had this mental image, like the most vivid mind's eye image I've ever had in my life. And, um, like, I, I, I saw just her frolicking in the grass, like, kind of, like, tripping out and chasing a bug around. And I was like, you know what, I have to see that once more. Once more in my life. And, uh, what happened next was... <sighs> And this is crazy coming from me, but could have been a miracle for all I know. Um, I mean, this also could, you could make an argument that it was just like a very, very, like, hyper vivid account of sleep paralysis. But you gotta, you gotta bear in mind that like, um, what happened after all this kind of uh, refutes that. Um, so, I had that image, and then... I was like, yeah, I gotta see that one more time. And I was, all of a sudden, I was snapped out of that, that like, accepting everything about me dying for this stupid reason. Um, and uh, I was like, no, no, I gotta see this, gotta see this. And then all of a sudden, like, it was like, I got fucking just thunder punched in the chest. And my heart goes, <laughs> like, it was like beating out of my chest. Um, and then it took, it still took though like 10 minutes, I think, cause like, like oxygen was starting to come back into my brain and into my body. And, um, I, 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 I couldn't move still. Like I was still like, <laughs> but like I couldn't move. And then like uh, eventually like I could move my fingers a little bit and then I could move my arms a little bit. And if you know about sleep paralysis, like when you have sleep paralysis, like what happens is you'll typically like you'll you you may have false awakenings of like being able to move one limb a little bit. I've had full on like false awakenings of like getting up and doing something and then oh shit I'm back in the sleep paralysis. But this was like this was this was not like that at all. Um, this uh, was me like oh okay okay my fingers my fingers oh I can kind of move my wrist. Oh. Oh. Like, I, I, I pulled myself up 
but I like I couldn't I couldn't stand on my legs. They were too rickety. My knees were wobbling and shit. So I fall back down. And I like I climb up something kind of like this that had a mirror on top of it. And this is this is why I tell you this wasn't sleep paralysis. So I look in the mirror. I am fucking blue and gray. My fingers, tips of my fingers, all blue. Um, so, I am very much of, um, of the mind that I had died when that had happened. Um, and that is the only time out of the three times I have died that I really remember it. Like, remember what happened after I flatlined. Um, I mean, you can make cases for this being a trick of the mind. I mean, it very well could be. Um, but, um, I would be hard of you to, uh, stay tuned for the next two, because the next two are a little more, like, fucked up. Um, they're definitely, especially the last one, is very hard for me, personally. Um, but I am doing this channel largely because of therapy, personal therapy. And just, you know, have some fun and hopefully connect with cool people in the process. Big bang. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, the next one was when I was starting to get into IV drug use. So, yeah, now, it's going to be a little, a little touchy subject, but the last one is the real touchy one, and I don't even know if I want to share that on here, because it's very, like, it's very sensitive, um, and it took me a long time to actually, like, stop repressing the truth about what really happened during that last one. But I think there's a really important message behind it um, that I, I would like to stress. So I think I will get there. It's just going to take me a little bit of mustering and so forth to do it. But, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like. I hope you comment. I hope you subscribe. I hope because let's get some action going here, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Robot overlord. For this nicotine juice. Right in my lungs. Anyways. Ciao for now, folks, and stay tuned.